And I had a chance to speak with County Commissioner Gary Wheeler. We're here with Mr. Gary Wheeler. Mr. Wheeler, do you think that this rally is really going to change anything? Yeah, I think that it can nationwide. You know, I, I was talking to somebody the other day and, you know, one woman changed the whole environment on driving while intoxicated and started mad. It starts someplace and I think to get a rally and to have these people turn out, it shows that people are getting fed up with government. They're getting fed up with the direction the country's going, and this is what's going to change things because it's been rallies like this on the other side of the spectrum that's put us where we are today. So I think this is time for maybe taking back a little bit of what we've lost from my perspective. I absolutely agree with you, and it's really great to see all the Vera Beach residents out here joining in on this protest, if you will. Yep, I, I love it. And I can tell you, and I'm a Republican, this is not a partisan thing. Right. If this rally was about George Bush's spending, I'd have been here for it also. Government spends too much and takes too much and is involved in too much. We need to get back to the basics of taking care of public safety, roads and bridges, our military, and get out of a lot of the programs we're in. That's my opinion. So. I totally agree. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you. I spoke with John E. Moore III from Rossway Moore & Taylor Law Firm. We're here with John Moore. Mr. Moore, do you think that this rally is really going to change anything? Well, sure. I mean, you, you know, you, you have to start somewhere. And you have, what you have to remember about this is this is one of 1,500 of these things taking place today around the country. So it's part of a much wider effort than just here. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful event. A lot of people work very, very hard to bring it together. But look at all the people that are here already, um, ready to express their voices. I know, there's a lot of people and I think there's only more coming. I think you're right. I, it'll, it, it'll be interesting to see. Well, I got here about a half an hour ago and the parking lot was already full. So, A lot of people interested to hear the message, a lot of people here showing their support for the message. So well, I think that's great. I hope they hear the message and thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. And here's what Congressman Bill Posey had to say. You know, the first meeting that I went to, or one of the first meetings as a member of the Financial Services Committee, we had the Undersecretary of the Treasury there. And we asked him in the committee to tell us who all got the TARP money, the Troubled Asset Relief Program, the bailout money. We said, we'd like to know who all got that money and exactly how much money they got. Right? You know what he said? He said, I'm not going to tell you. And you tell us who got the money and how much they got. Right. And he said, I'm not telling you. You can't make me next question. And that's the truth. Uh, we, we need to change that. We have legislation now pending. They probably won't hear it. But, you know, I, I think you should have a 72 hour cooling off period when you vote for any taxpayer expenditures of money like they have in the state of Florida. <laughs> Again, I want to thank you for getting actively, uh, for, for participating so actively. The you know, people across this great land will will take up the torch that you have carried here today, and and take it over the next couple of election cycles and let their voices be heard. You won't need to have these things anymore in the future. God bless you, and God bless America. This is Charlotte Tripson from PlanetBureau.com, and this has been one of the greatest rallies in Indian River County, and hopefully we'll see a change.